I think I put on an excellent performance. You know, it was a uh, total to toe action. You know, um, like I said, it, it wasn't a, a you know fast paced rounds. We, we was we was working the entire time. You know, me me Oscar and Lita did a, did, a, did a, put on a great show for you guys, and I think that was a great a great opening for um, Keith on keep 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 the number shot for the Um, it seemed like you know the seventh, eighth round that uh, Molina started with winded and you uh, come back in the uh, popular little bit of shots. Did you ever think before the tenth round maybe round seven, eight, nine, they they had him out of there? Uh yes, that was I think it was the the eighth round. I felt like I had him hurt, but the, a bell round. Um, you know, Molina was leading him to his to his left. And uh, I didn't. I was loading up a little bit in the early rounds, the second, third round, because I knew I landed a big shot. But uh, my corner told me to start touching them, so I was loading up, and uh, that's what I just did. I started touching them more, touching them more, and the shots um, they flew. They came in uh, without me trying so hard. So I feel like in the eighth round I had them hurt, but uh, the bell, the bell started to save it. How you doing, Jared Barack? Yeah. Barack from Sirius XM. Um, what made you decide to fight? in the closet so much, rather than keeping them, you know, you're taller, you're long, keeping them at, at the end of your jab. Is it because of success in the first round? Uh, well, you know, Belinda, he was, uh, I was, I, the jab was working good for me, but I could see that as the fight went on, if I would have fought at a distance, it would have kind of been at his pace, and I kind of wanted to break him down more, so I wanted to uh, put a little pressure on him at the same time. So I didn't want to give him too much space because uh, I wanted to wear him down a little bit. Great job. Thanks.